Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is basically my everyday look for the past like week or so. So if you guys wanna see how I completed this look, keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the most obvious thing, which is the Glossier Soothing Face Mist. And, and I still have an active coupon code. It's P2S Christine for $5 off any Glossier.com purchase. I'll leave the link down below just in case. And then I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin with the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. This is nothing new really. I've been doing this for about like six months now. All right, so I'm gonna put that all over. All right, so now I need an SPF. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisture SPF 15. And I'm just really using this up. Um, I have quite a bit left, but it's nothing special really. Um, the smell isn't really offensive or anything, and it does protect your skin, so that's nice. I'm not sure if it's a chemical or a physical block. So if you guys know that, please let me know. Um, or I can just do some research on it. So I never skip the step. Um, sometimes I'll skip these two, but every day I'll use this because you need SPF, especially in Southern California. And every morning I usually have like my tea, my water, and my smoothie. I make a smoothie every day. This looks kind of gross, but it's actually really not. It's delicious. And this is usually my breakfast every morning. I'll have it with like a vitamin. So I started keeping um, these daily multivitamins in this little jar right here inside my makeup bag because I always forget to take them. So. Um, because I have them in my makeup bag, it's something I reach for every day, so I'll just take one out and put it in my pocket, and then take it whenever I'm drinking a smoothie or eating breakfast or something like that. And then next I'm going to go in with the Perfecting Skin Tint in Medium, and I just shake it up like that, and then pour about like nine drops onto my hand like this. And I actually haven't been using any like tools, brushes, or like beauty blenders lately, and that's kind of nice because you don't have to wash them. Just been using my hands for everything. And normally I'll like moisturize my lips with a um, balm, like the balm.com or something like that, but today I'm just gonna go in with the Jam Lip Color. This is the um, Glossier Generation G in Jam. Um, and these are super moisturizing anyway, so And um, the wonderful thing about this is that I'll put a thick layer like this on and then I'll leave it on my lips, do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll blot a little bit of it off when I'm done. And then I'll just like put cake right on top and it gives you like this beautiful mauve color that I'm really into. It's just a very natural, dusty rose type color. So um, yeah, I'll let this sink in to stain my skin a little bit and then I'll put this on when I'm done with my makeup. All right, the next part is my favorite part. This is the Stretch Concealer from Glossier. And I use the shade medium and dark. So I'm about an NC25 in matte color. So I'm more of like a yellow undertone, um, like medium skin color. But I use the medium color to brighten. Um, so just like right down the center of my face, my nose bridge, Cupid's bow down here, and under my eyes. And this is the medium shade is a bit more like pink tone. And then I use the dark skin tone, which is like almost the perfect color for my skin. And I use this to like cover blemishes or dark spots and like basically blend in everything. So what I've been doing is just starting with the medium color. I'll use my fingers and just kind of get as much product as I can on my finger. I absolutely love this concealer because it's totally blendable. It builds up super easily. And even if you put a thick layer on, you can blend it out with your finger. It's not like cakey or chalky or dry or anything like that. Um, when I first heard that they were releasing a pot concealer, I love the idea of pot concealers, especially these because they're in glass containers. And I don't know, I've always been intrigued by it because I think concealer is actually one of the first makeup products I've ever bought. Only thing is that with my experience with pot concealers is that it's really dry, chalky. Whenever I think of like pot concealers, I think of the... Uh, Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage and it's like a really chalky formula and I normally have to put like a drip of uh, moisturizer in there and kind of work it in. So when Glossier said that they were re releasing a pot concealer I was just kind of hesitant about it but then when it came and then I touched it for the first time the formula is so smooth so like malleable that I just fell in love instantly. Yeah, So I'm going to put it around my nose just down the center of my face basically the medium shade, or the dark shade, and then just blend everything out. Sometimes I'll even mix the two together, just like that. 
like this and then um, rub it in everywhere but I've been doing this lately and it's just really easy one at a time it's crazy because I um, bought the NARS concealer thinking that that's gonna be the holy grail concealer the best concealer in the world and then I started um, breaking it down with a little bit of the skin tint because it became kind of like too thick for me over time and I don't know I like a full coverage like every once in a while but that's just a little bit too much makeup for, in my opinion. So when you break it down with a perfecting skin tint, you basically get the same texture as this. So it's perfect that they came out with this product. All right, so the next product I'm really excited about, this is the Laura Mercier, it's Body Mine, which is like a palette. And it comes with two highlighters, two blushes, and a bronzer. And it's cream based, so I just use my fingers on this. And I've been loving this so much. I didn't think I would be so obsessed with this, but I absolutely love it. I've been using it every day, and this is the only like highlighter, blush, and bronzer that I keep in my makeup bag, and it's all in one product. So it's amazing. And if you don't know how to do makeup, it's great because there's this little like filing system up top that shows you how to do everything. So there's all these cards and it shows you how to use every product basically and I usually just start from left to right so um, I'm going to start with Lies color and then build my way through and I actually use all the colors um, depending on the day so I'm going to use the highlighter just down the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on my forehead on the inner corners of my eyes. And it's like a champagne um, type highlighter color, which is really cute. Um, I still really love the RMS highlighter, but having everything in one kit is like super easy. So I've been carrying this around and using it a lot. So yeah, just on my chin and maybe like a little bit on my cheekbones. And then I've been using this color right here, which is another highlight. Just with my ring finger, I'll go in and then put that over my eyelids, just over the whole thing. And then if I want to intensify, I'll put like the bronzer on. And it's a nice of just like a single wash of color. Sometimes I'll even go back in with the highlighter and just put it right in the center. Again. Okay, and then moving on to blushes, which is right in the center. I'll choose one, either or, um, but I'll show you what it looks like. Swatched, so this is like the corally color right here. Um, it looks kind of vibrant, but when it blends out, it looks very natural and just like perfect when you wear like a bold lip. And then this one right here, which is like a more wine, deeper wine color, it just gives you a very natural flush. Um, and I use a little bit less of that to blend it in. So I'm going to actually use that today, the darker color. And then just put it on the apples of my cheeks and blend up. And it's crazy because I, I love these um, cream blushes. I never really use cream blushes all that often just because they don't really last on me. And then I use this one day and I put it on in the morning and then my sister came to visit me later on in the day. And she's like, oh, I love your blush. What are you wearing? And it was the same one that I put on that morning. So it literally lasts all day. And I don't know, it just looks very vibrant and natural. It blends in beautifully. And then go back in with this bronzer color right here. And it's like a matte, like no shimmer bronzer basically. And what I'm gonna do is just take a bit of it and then put it in the hollows of my cheeks. Just to use it a little bit like a contour bronzer. It's not really to contour, a little bit, to add a little bit of definition to the face. But yeah, and I've been pushing it up instead of down lately. Just because I saw someone do that on YouTube and I liked how it lifted the face up, so I've been doing that. I have a little birthmark right here, if you guys can see, but it's a little bit lighter than the rest of my skin. And it's always really confusing whenever I put on like foundation or bronzer like this because I don't know if I should cover it completely. Just because I don't really mind it, but when you put color over it, it looks kind of strange. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I like to put it on my temples as well. Like that. I think I'm going to go in and put a little bit on the outer corner of my eye. Right here, just to put some, or just to have some definition. 
All right, now I'm gonna work on my eyebrows and a lot of you actually were talking about how, um, or asking me if I still use my lip ink brow stain and I do. I actually have a lot of like different, um, I don't just have like one blush or one bronze or anything like that. I, ha I do have multiple um, brow stuff. So I do have the Anastasia one and then the lip ink brow stain. And then also this, which I'm trying to use up. I'm actually at the end of it. This is the very end of it basically. So I never really use products up. So um, I'm really excited to use this up. I actually want to do like an empties video. So I've been collecting things and trying to finish things up so I can like review it for you guys. But um, yeah, so this brow pencil I'm almost done with. This is the Hourglass um, Dark Brunette Brow Sculpting Pencil. And I wouldn't recommend this just because it actually broke. So yeah, and I know it happens to a lot of people as well. So I wouldn't recommend it just because it's a lot of money to spend for something that will just kind of be irritating when it breaks. And it breaks on everyone. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly fill in my brows. And usually what I do, I'm no expert at this. I usually just start at the very top, kind of walk my way through. And I know that some days I do it a lot darker than other days. Um, and I know it doesn't look so good on days that I do it so dark, but I just get carried like away, just like anyone else. I get carried away easily. Rachel actually has this trick where she stands like super far away from the mirror and like a couple feet away and then she does her brows and it always ends up perfect because you're standing so far away that you can see everything perfectly. But I'm never that far away from a mirror. I always have like a handheld mirror next to me so I can't really hold it that far. Actually, I guess this works too. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in with the spoolie side and just kind of brush everything out. And at this point it becomes like very diffused and I get like a messy outline basically. I get like just dark spots everywhere so it looks like I have really dark brows but yeah I just blend everything out and then at this point my brows just look like a fuzzy mess like there's no definition or anything so I'm going to go in with a glossier boy brow and yesterday I actually used this alone and it actually looks really good it looks very natural um, I like a little bit more like dark brows though just because my eyebrow hairs are so light so I like to add a little bit of color underneath and then define the hairs with this. And it makes the hair just look very groomed and put in place. Um, yeah, so what I do is I brush the sprouts up a little bit and then kind of walk it through the back like that. And if you haven't tried this, I urge you to go try this because it already has a cult following. Everyone loves it. And it's been sold out for a very long time and they finally have it in stock again. So. I would definitely get this before it sells out again. And the color I have is black. So at this point, I normally blot my lips, but it looks pretty stained, so it's perfect. So I'm gonna go in with the Generation G cake. So um, it's just like a nude color. And... So if you guys are confused as to what the Generation G like lip balms or lip stains are, it's um, basically a matte lipstick that kind of stains your lips and um, it's moisturizing as well so it's funny because my go-to color is the Sephora red always red matte lip stain and I've been wearing it like since last year basically every single day since last year um, I wear it to work all the time and people around work would always call me the red lipstick girl and um, yeah it's just like my signature red and then as soon as I was introduced to these I was wearing them every single day and they're so moisturizing, they're so comfortable, that when I went back and I tried a liquid lipstick, like I have so many liquid lipsticks, when I went back to try those or to use those, I just, I couldn't use them. They're just really dry and I totally just couldn't do it. So then I had to wipe it off right away and then put on these lip balms again to like nourish my lips. So yeah, this is basically the finished look. I'll actually go in and I always have these like perfume samples everywhere, but um, this one is Commodity Book, and actually, give me one sec. So Caitlin actually um, went on her lunch break while she was working and went to Sephora and then got a little sample of this um, Commodity Book perfume or cologne. It's like a unisex scent, and it's the most amazing scent ever. It's bergamot, which I love. I love Earl Grey tea. Um, and then it's bergamot, cucumber, and sandalwood. But as soon as I like smelled it, I was like, this is the scent they have at Stephen Allen. It just smells so good. And then she's like, yeah, you should get a sample of it. 
So I ended up just getting a sample and I used it basically all up. So I told myself as soon as I use this up, I'm gonna go buy it. But then she actually got it for me for my birthday. So I'm so excited about that. For those of you who don't know who Caitlin is, she works with me at Illustiva. And she's just, she's become like one of my closest friends. She's just very funny. We have a lot in common and um, she has a YouTube channel as well, so I'll link that down below. But yeah, she got this for me and I'm so excited because the packaging is beautiful and I love the scent. I've been wearing it for like a little over a week now, so I know that I love it. It doesn't give me headaches or anything. And she totally like was tricky enough to, she was like, yeah, you should just wear it for a week just to see how it reacts or whatever because a lot of times I'll wear a perfume and I'll be really into it and I'll have a headache after a day of using it. So with this, you can layer it on. You can actually share it with your boyfriend too because it's unisex. I just, I love it so much and it just smells so good. I think they have one called Wool. They have like a bunch of different fragrances, but this one's my favorite. You guys should definitely go to Sephora and get a sample of it because it smells so good. Um, this is basically the finished look. Sometimes I'll put on mascara and like curl my lashes, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. Um, so yeah, this is it. It's just nice glowing skin, blush, highlighter, and like a My Lips With Better lip color. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.